Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman. I'm, I'm the designer of the Genus Tech Hurricane Rig. And I want to show you what we're looking at currently with motorization on the rig. Now we are just about to release a kit that gives you a geared drive for the interaxial along with a bracket for a standard follow focus motor. And as you can see here, I actually have a standard follow focus as a Heden motor attached to the rig. And you can of course use a standard uh, follow focus controller to control the rig to drive the interaxial. But I want to introduce you to another product and this is the Today 3D uh, 3D rig controller. This is a three channel system that I have here but there is also an eight channel system plan. So this will control up to eight uh, follow focus type motors. On the front of the control panel here you have a nice uh, clear LCD display that tells you where everything currently is. You have a control here, a sliding control, and you have a rotary control. And you can assign what these controls do in the, the menus on the controller. It has a very uh, sophisticated uh, menu and control system. Now currently I have this set up, so this slider here is going to change my interaxial. So as I push this up, you'll see the motor turns, and the interaxial of the rig will change. And on the LCD display, because this has been calibrated for this rig, I will have a readout of the interocular distance. Um, and if we just go to here, let's say uh, 30 millimeters, so that's now going to go to 30 millimeters. So very quickly, I can change my interaxial, uh, maybe even from a remote location. And that's really useful if you have a video village on your, on your shoot maybe with a big 3D monitor for checking alignment and things like that. So from the video village, I can wirelessly control the interaxial of the rig to change my 3D depth without having to actually get in the way of the camera operator or anything else. So this is going to be a really nice feature to have. Now, as well as changing the interaxial, this controller can also control another two motors. And the main use for that really would be to control the focus on your two cameras. So here I have another pair of focus motors and as I turn this controller here you can see that both of these motors turn and this would obviously if I had focus gears and cameras I'd be able to focus both cameras together. Now the controller is very sophisticated. You can have offsets, you can dial in all the different parameters for the lenses that you're using and program each lens individually. So even if there's a slight tracking error between the two lenses in terms of focus, you can compensate for that with this controller. So this is a really nice system. Don't have pricing for it just yet, um, but it's from Today 3D. Um, and I, I really, really like it. This is a demo unit and I'm gonna be really sad when this has to go back because this works so well. It's a really nice unit. It's powered by a standard Canon uh, battery. So they're readily available, very easy, very cheap to get. And if the battery goes flat, you can just very quickly change it and swap it out. Um, the eight channel version will control eight motors. So you would be able to then control uh, dual focus, dual zoom, uh, assuming of course you can find a pair of zoom lenses that will track accurately enough, uh, dual iris, and on the Hurricane Rig interaxial. And in the future, we'll also have a, an option for uh, motorizing the convergence setting as well. Although to be honest, convergence motorization, that's a bit of a debatable subject as to whether you need it. Because it's actually really easy to adjust convergence in post-production. And if you were going to try and pull convergence during a shot, it's probably going to be easier to shoot parallel and do that convergence pull in post-production where you have complete control and you can time it perfectly and keyframe it and everything else. So me personally, I would rather do a convergence in post rather than trying to adjust it on the fly during a shot. Um, as you know, the Hurricane Rig can shoot parallel or it can shoot converged. Um, I often use the derobe method, which is kind of a compromise and in-between method. Um, but really, convergence, I believe, certainly dynamic convergence changes during the shot, best left to post-production. So you have a three channel version, eight channel version, that's the handset. And if I just spin the rig around here, this is the uh, box that goes on the rig. I have my interaxial output, 
my right focus, left focus output, power, and there are other connectors under here if I want to actually connect this via cable, if I have any problems with RF interference and things like that. So the company that makes this is Today 3D. I really like it. I'm going to be sad when this demo unit goes back. Don't have pricing yet, but it's going to be very competitive. One thing you can be sure of that anything that we do to do with the Hurricane Rig will be extremely competitively priced.